A ver, ¿qué tal? Hi. Hi, good look. Good evening, Morena. Good evening, Marley. Good evening, Emerson. Good Hi, evening, Morena. Sara. Hi. Hola, hola, Sara. Mucho gusto. Nice to meet you. Hi, Karen. Mia Karen. Good evening, Karen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Qué puntuales. <risa> para que no nos regañe. <risa> Qué alegría. Día, creo. Gracias, sí. igual. ¿Cómo está el bebé? Thank you. Aquí va creciendo. Ay, qué bueno. Ya Ay. son dos meses, ¿verdad? Sí, un poquito Ay, más de bueno. dos meses. Qué bueno, qué alegría. Ahí voy a Un poquito más y sabemos qué va a ser niño, niño. Sí. sí. Yo quiero que sea niño. Pero mi esposo bueno. quiere niña. Ah, sí. A, a mí ¿verdad? me gustan más las niñas. Yo quisiera tener niño. Que mi, mi novia tuviera niña. Sí. Son bien cariñosas las niñas con los papás. Sí, verdad. Eh, la haría, creo que la haría vanidosa. <risa> Después te arrepentirías. <risa> Hi guys. Hi. 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 ¿Cómo Hi. están? Hi. Por aquí, Thank por you. No por allá. And you? Morales. <risa> Hi, César. Good evening, César. Good evening. ¿Cómo están? Fine, thank you. And you? Fine, thank you. Aquí lamentando una terrible situación que pasó. ¿Y eso? <risa> César, ¿qué pasó? No. está grabando. Ándale, mejor no va. Y después hablamos. Hello, guys. Hi. <risa> hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi guys, welcome to. Hi well, teacher. Hi teacher, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi it's teacher actually... William. Hi. Hi, it's an incredible pleasure Hi. to be Hi. part of this incredible stuff. Definitely that we're going to have fun a lot. So I was like listening to you since the very early. And also I was like kind of encouraged because you, you some of you connected very early, like a couple of minutes before. And I was like, wow, they came on time. That's great. So guys, welcome to our English classes. That for me, it's a great pleasure to be part of this incredible you know, group, especially because we are a dance and also we're going to take advantage about it. And that was going to be a great part of that. So how are you today? Fine, so possible. Fine, thank I you. Fun. Okay, I have a very serious question to ask you. How do you feel being advanced? How do you feel being advanced? So tell me. Nervous. Because, because you're advanced, <laughs> right? So that's great. So I congratulations. Happy, teacher. Yeah, yeah definitely. I feel happy to start classes. Awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. So me too. I I, I feel mm -hmm. excited too. And also because I want to learn from you guys. I want to learn the best. Okay, I uh, mean, as a teacher, I always learn. We don't stop because it's a process that we just have. And, um, and also what I really need from you guys is to be encouraged, to be motivated, to be part of this incredible English club, Cursed. Okay, so thank you for being on time. We're going to have a presentation and then we will start a class today. So I would like to ask you, how's the weather like? Is, is, how's the weather like? Is fresh? Is cold? Is sunny? You know, how is the weather like? Tell me. It's hot. It's cold. Yes, hot. hot. Okay depending where you are okay depending where you are that's great so well let's let's talk a little bit about you know this english course because it's very important and also let me introduce myself my name is uh, teacher william garcia you can call me uh teacher william or, or mr garcia if you feel comfortable <laughs> and um about my my personal experience i have around 
17. I, I had 16, but in that case, uh, 17 years teaching English. So I have some time teaching. And, um, and I also I feel really encouraged to be, you know, be teaching English because it's really important to me. It's, it's like a passion, you know, when you like to do something, you enjoy it a lot. And also it's not a job anymore. So you just enjoy what you do. And also I work in, in the Australian International and also I'm, a, I'm an English teacher since, well, with this English Corporativo and in Sephora since 2020. And I have two, two majors, one is the Professor of English and also Licenciatura. And also I, I work specifically with planning, you know, and I teach all kind of English levels. So I, I don't have problems to teach. And also I teach the TOEFL and TOEIT. And this is for me a great experience. And let me talk a little bit about this course. There are some important details that you need to take into account for, for this one. I know that most of you come from a processing like different levels. And uh, so you are familiar with this important rules that we had to follow and especially take into account for that one. And also I was speaking in Spanish because it said it's like activities y relaciones. This is the only one time that I will speak in Spanish because all classes will be for language, right? Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, perfect. I love that. Bien, um, vamos a practicar un poquito el español. Ah, ahí está. <laughs> bien, ahí está. Miren qué bonito es. No, yes. ¿Y de dónde? ¿Y de dónde? <laughs> bueno, eh, para empezar vamos a hablar un poquito. Ya, ya hay 17 acá. Es, es un gusto estar con ustedes. Y dice acá que es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Es decir, que tenemos que tener esto en cuenta, pero no tanto porque eh, es porque algo que tenemos que completar, sino porque en cada clase siempre aprendemos algo nuevo. En cada clase tenemos que practicar, en cada clase tenemos que producir. Y es uno de los factores importantes. Muchas veces decimos, completemos libros, completemos ejercicios, pero ¿en qué momento vamos a producir el idioma? A este nivel que tienen ustedes, dos cosas son importantes. Eh, la producción es fundamental, es decir, que ustedes tienen que hablar más que yo, ¿verdad? Yo me relajo y ustedes hablan, ¿qué les parece? ¿Está bien? Sí, yo creo que sí, de aquí, tiene que ser, de aquí tomándome un café y ustedes platicando en inglés, no, tampoco, ¿verdad? pero pero sí, este, el inglés para nivel avanzado tiene que ver un nivel de producción importante, es decir, que ustedes ya son estudiantes activos en el proceso y todo tiene que ser en inglés, claro que usted puede preguntar sin ningún problema. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase. Es una recomendación porque a veces sucede de que nos, eh, nos saturamos de actividades. Entonces, eh, a veces no nos queda mucho espacio. Entonces, es recomendable hacer eso. Alguien me decía, bueno, teacher, y si yo quiero adelantarme un poquito, también se puede adelantar y trabajar en los ejercicios. Si usted se siente confiado en que maneje el tema y puede hacer el ejercicio, lo puede hacer también sin ningún problema. Eh, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Así que Insafor monitorea realmente que los estudiantes estén trabajando en las actividades, que estén trabajando en el, en el, en el proceso, que vayan usando la plataforma y que esto sea una retroalimentación para ustedes. Es muy importante. Material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. En este caso, a mí me gusta compartirles eh, la información de lo, que, de lo que estoy presentando para que pues, usted ya sea que lo puede revisar antes o lo puede, o lo puede tomar en cuenta para saber qué vamos a estudiar este día, qué vamos a desarrollar en las clases. Entonces, es necesario que tengamos en cuenta esta parte, ¿verdad? Para que eh, sigamos la misma secuencia. ¿Qué podemos decir también? Eh, que es necesario que hagamos una retroalimentación nosotros como estudiantes de nivel pre avanzado para que podamos tener un dominio bastante importante del idioma. Eh, si ustedes observan acá, eh, las tareas y evaluaciones. Vamos a estar trabajando, en este caso, cuatro semanas. La primera semana vamos a trabajar lo que es la sección 1 y la sección 2. Es decir, de que esta semana estaremos trabajando las dos secciones 1 y 2 y vamos a priorizar eh, lo, lo, lo necesario de cada, de cada sección. También 
la semana 2 estaremos trabajando la sección 3 y la prueba conocida como midterm. Eso estaremos trabajando en la semana 2 para que usted lo tome en cuenta y, y sepa qué vamos a evaluar. Recuerden que esta clase también está siendo grabada, entonces usted la, va, la puede ver posteriormente, eh, ya sea por algún tema o algo que no le quedó claro o por alguna circunstancia en el internet no funcionó, entonces usted puede conectarse sin ningún problema. Para la semana 3 estaremos trabajando exclusivamente la sección 4. Y la última semana de este curso estaremos trabajando lo que es la sección 5 y el examen final. Entonces, estos son los puntos importantes que tenemos que tomar en cuenta para que podamos eh, ir trabajando eh, desde esta semana con esa energía y esa motivación. Porque este módulo sí tenemos que hablar inglés súper bien y lo vamos a hacer. Así que ya me voy a dar gusto ya escuchándolos hablar en inglés bien bonito, hasta, hasta el acento ya, otro nivel, ya hasta, hasta cómodo estoy aquí ya. Muy bien. Y esto que es importante, eh, las normas de convivencia, es necesario tomar eso en cuenta ya que muchas veces eh, de repente se nos activa el botón y quizás el vecino tiene música así bien de fiesta de, de, de diciembre y usted ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces... Es importante tener el botón de silencio, a menos que usted vaya a participar, ya sea levante su manita o lo enciende y, con, y consulta sin ningún problema. La lista de asistencia es un programa. Eh, también este, necesito, por aquí veo algunos estudiantes que tienen eh, en su pantalla su nombre. Y voy a mencionar el caso de Elvis Aníbal Rauda Torres. Felicitarlo porque ahí en su pantalla está su nombre completo. Así es, porque en Safor va a monitorear que los nombres estén completos en el cuadro que está ahí. Entonces, también tenemos a Morena Guadalupe Fuentes, también tiene su nombre completo. Felicidades también por eso. Y también tienen la cámara encendida. ¡Qué emoción! Miren qué bien, tienen la cámara encendida. Así también tenemos que tenerla. Eh, la participación activa es importante. El uso de chats, por ejemplo, si usted no puede... Eh, no puede hablar algo, pues lo puede escribir también sin ningún problema. Levantar la mano, siempre mantener el respeto de los compañeros y sobre todo pues el deseo de poder aprender que eso es muy importante. Ya que venimos aquí con una misión y que es maximizar nuestro nivel de inglés de la mejor manera y sobre todo eh, participar activamente. Uh, entonces ahí tenemos el, el resumen, el summary. Tenemos la asistencia, un 80% de clases, incluso más si se puede. Avance y desarrollo de la plataforma de aprendizaje, horarios establecidos, tener la cámara encendida. La duración de la clase son 60 minutes. So we can actually take into account this part. And also trabajar ejercicios en la plataforma de clases y pues ahí el premio que usted recibe, ¿verdad? Por cada módulo que, que va logrando, pues es un avance y, y es de aprovecharlo. Entonces... Eso es eh, prácticamente las normativas que siempre tenemos que tomarlas en cuenta cuando estamos iniciando nuestro, nuestras clases eh, según el módulo que vayamos estudiando. Ok, quiero pedirles, ¿estamos listos? ¿Estamos sí, listos? Teacher. I'm sí. ready. Ready, teacher. Eso, como, que, han, como que ya cenaron, como Good. que ya están with a lot of energy, right? Ok, so we get a lot of motivation. So guys, we're going to start a class today and I just want to ask you, Well, um, we have a great topic to share today in the class, and also we feel really comfortable to uh, talk about an important topic. So uh, I sent it to you guys for, through WhatsApp, uh, also the presentation that we will use for the class today. Let's see what we have here. Okay, what's the topic? Who wants to help me to read the topic? Okay, Oscar, thanks for sharing your information here. Okay, what's the topic? Hello? Teacher? Yes. Relative pronouns of subjects. So we can have this topic. Yes. Okay, so let's start a class. And also we have a general objective that we will take into account for this course, especially for this um, part one. Who wants to help me to read it? I need a volunteer to read this information. Say, someone has, says me. Me, teacher. Thank you. 
general objective. By the end of this lecture, participants will be able to use rel relative pronouns who and that as subjects. I think that's all. Exactly. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. So in that case, so this is something that we need to reach at the end of this special unit. So we will uh, have the opportunity to use the relative pronouns who and that as subjects. And also you will see some exercises later as part of this topic that I need to explain to you. Okay, we have this one um, look at this part. It says, that's what friends are for. It. You have here some information like love and marriage, North America. There are some important information that we can discuss about it. It says love and marriage in North America. What women look for a partner? And there are some qualities that we need to take into account. Like the first one, uh, leadership qualities. That's the first one. Earning potential, a sense of humor, intelligence, and job skills, and success. And what men look for a partner? physical attractiveness, warmth and affection, homemaking ability, fashion sense, social skills, sensitivity. So this is what um, people are looking for, especially for women and also for men. And we, we can take into account about this points because you know, you have experience about this. And look what it, the heart says here in my right side of the screen. How men and women rate five aspects of a relationship. We have very important, unimportant, also friendship, passion, selfishness, practically, and playfulness. So look at this one. It's important because we have some ideas about what we want, what people want, what they are looking for, and also some important qualities that they need to take into account for that. Okay, look at the questions that we have right on the screen. In your opinion, which of the qualities about are most important to look for in a partner? So think about it because it's necessary to discuss about this one. Are there other important qualities missing from the list? Perhaps you have some other points that you would like to include in the list. So you had to evaluate that part. And how do people meet their partners in your country? So um, that's what friends are for. So we have to think about some friendship. We're gonna talk about friendship. And also there are some incredible qualities that we would like to include, especially when we're looking for a friend. And what I want you to do is like to take a short time to uh, try to answer these questions in, in a briefly way, like we're talking about two or three minutes. We'll work in the break room and we will discuss these questions with a partner. And so you have freedom to ask questions if you have them. So uh, think about these questions, three questions, and try to give a possible answer. And when you're ready, you say, teacher, I am ready because I have the answers or the three questions that I have there. Okay. Is that clear, the instruction? Yes? Hello, hello? Yes, I think we need to to give uh, an answer. I'm sorry. Yes, an yes. answer to those. Yes, an answer yeah, yeah. to those uh, questions. But I have a question. Uh, we we will we will be at different rooms. Exactly. So yes, I will create some break rooms. Yes, and, also and then uh, could could you send it that image to the WhatsApp group? or um yeah or i send the i send the, the presentations that we, you can see there it's in the whatsapp group but i will resend it again so you can have all the presentation um for this class so just I'll give me one second okay let's see that i think i i need to 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 write those questions in in a document here in my because I think I I not I am not in the WhatsApp group.
Okay, don't forget if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. You have freedom to ask questions, and I will be more than glad to help you guys. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Someone else say yes too. Okay, someone else say yes too. I, I have one question. I yep. think that I am not, yes, I think that I am not in the WhatsApp group. Okay, well, I can do for you so I can also attach the uh, the link yes, of I, I took I, I took a photo. I took a photo. Yeah, so just give me one second. Uh, I, will, I will attach here in the WhatsApp group the link of this team in WhatsApp. So just uh, give me one second. If you have the, the link, could you I do. send it to the chat here? Yeah, I do. I do have it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Let's see, where is it? Oh, it's right here. So if you're not in the group, guys, in general, I will attach also the link of the WhatsApp so you can see here and click on it and automatically you will be enrolled in our group. Okay, students, let's start now. We will have a couple of minutes and to share the questions we have right here. So I will create the breakout rooms and all of you have to be there in practice English. Socialize all the answers you have about every single question according to your personal perspective. So let's see here, we will have sessions of three and four members. Okay, let's open it and good luck with the practice.
hydrogen? Hi, teacher. Um, you couldn't join a group? Okay, look at the screen because I will uh, send you a new invitation and you click on it. Okay, teacher. All right. Can you see it? Yeah, it's right there. Great job. Okay. Entonces, este, the, the second, for example, the patient. Patient. The patient. Mm -hmm. And the last one. Fidelity. Um, fidelity. Fidelity. A patient forever. <laughs> patient forever <Sí>. forever <laughs> it's, it's, it's every necessary. moment every <laughs> moment <laughs> yeah for the flame <laughs> <laughs> whatever the <they> new <laughs> okay vamos a ver are there some the need for two qualities missing from the list Lo que decíamos, Benzi, están otras más importantes eh, que no están en la lista. Lo que dijimos, respect, respeto. Respect. Mm -hmm. respeto. Confianza. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? Como sí. confianza y lealtad, pero veamos. Mm -hmm. Confianza. Este, communication. Eso, sí. Yeah. That's, yes. Communication. Communication. Lealtad, loyalty es lealtad, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. And con, uh -huh. consideration, too. Uh -huh. Consideration, for example, uh, you are washing the dishes and I see you. Consideration. <laughs> Yes, it's important. Yes. How do people mm -hmm. meet their partner in your country? La tercera sería, how do you, how do people meet their partner in your country? In events or... Um, and the school. Mm -hmm. School, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for example, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your, your English in your English class, in your English class, and events, and mm. in El Salvador, is is no in muchos lugares in realidad, vean, entre familia o. Santi, ¿cuándo se ha montado? <laughs> no, really. No, really. Is, is the, in the college. The stadium the college. where you. And the war, and the war, where the job, and the work, and the work. Uh huh, yes. The work in. Well, not a work. Um, Your co-worker. A co-worker. Is, <laughs> is very, very problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Teacher, are, are you there? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, I am. Help us. Help us. <laughs> Um, another in the because the, in in apps is I I don't know if he, if in this country is is common meet people with apps mm -hmm. no verdad mm -hmm. no yes yes um, is in 
Tinder, por ejemplo. Tinder. <risa> mm, pero digamos que está en la última de la lista, vea. <risa> social media. En social media. Esas cosas no conozco. Ya, ya. <risa> And there's one more. One more. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yes. Well, I need some red eye. Okay, guys, for all the best, we are right here. So congratulations for the practice. I could listen to some, some of you guys talking a little bit about those important qualities that we would like to take into account, especially when we have friends. And also some of you mentioned some other important qualities that we can also take into account. So let's continue, guys, working about this part. And also, let me check here. Let's continue with the presentation today. And... Uh, Let's go. Look at this. Let's see here. Okay, we have a conversation here. What's the topic? I like uh, guys who start talking about this one. And do you have a date for the part, party yet? Actually, I don't. Do you know anyone I could go with? Mm, what kind of guys do you like? Oh, I like guys who aren't too serious or who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone that like you, uh, what else? Well, I prefer someone that I have something in common with uh, who I can talk to easily. And I think I know just the guy for you. Bo Branson? Do you know him? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Okay, I asked him to meet us for coffee. And you can tell me what you think. So look at this conversation. It's very interesting because we're talking about some friends. And especially when you are looking for a, a person with different or similar qualities, something that you can also uh, take into account. I just want to ask you guys in general, you got a freedom to tell me. And uh, what are the most important qualities that a friend could have? So if you, uh, some of you have important and special people around you like friends, what are the qualities that you are looking for in a friend? Who wants to give your opinion about it? Yes, someone. What qualities do you look for in a friend? Respect, teacher. Okay.
a lot of communication too. Okay, uh, communication. It's possible a uh, good humor, but the the most important is the, the serious relationship. Okay, serious relationship, the, okay. The, the, the most important quality in my group, my group, it's, it's intelligent and, and passion. Okay, the person has to be intelligent and also have a passion for something. Okay, that makes sense to me. I totally agree with that. What else we can include? I think that a good example is emotional health. Emotional. Very important, very important. <laughs> it's temporary. <laughs> I mean, it's important because we had to look for, I mean, someone, but, uh, but sometimes, you know, it's something physics, so it's something temporary. Okay. So I was, I was listening about the emotional intelligence, you know, sometimes it's important to, to develop this one. So important, you know, emotional intelligence is very necessary, especially in some situations in which you, the person is exposed to different problems or, things that made them think and also control themselves. It's also necessary to do that. What else we can include about this inequalities? Maybe if the, if the person have goals or have something that it, it feels uh, to he or she needs to move in in her or his life okay definitely definitely that um, yeah we had to you know prioritize the people and, and especially that makes a difference about the person the people that are around around us people that most of the time prioritize us especially in a good relationship as friends or something else that we have to take into account. And also we as people, we can project a uh, very important, you know, perspectives that we could be good people with great values. And also it's something that we need to add to people with values. If you have a very important Christian and also social values, you are a great person and very successful in what you do. And especially because you take into account friends too. Okay, let's go with the next topic that we talk about relative pronouns and also we talk about relative pronouns as subjects and relative pronouns as objects. Who wants to help me to read? I need a volunteer. Who wants to help me to read? The grammar focus? Yes, what it says relative pronouns. Ah, okay, me, me teacher. Excellent. Okay, relative pronouns as subjects. I like guys, they aren't too serious. I like guys, they have a good sense of humor. Only that? Oh, all the, all the, all the short. Ah, okay. Oh, relative yeah. pronouns as subject too, yes. Uh-huh, okay. I like guys um, who or that aren't too serious. And I like guys who or that have a good, a good sense of humor. Continue. And relative pronounces as objects. I prefer someone can talk to him easily. I prefer... Um, I prefer someone who or that can talk to easily. And I prefer someone have fun with him. I prefer someone who or that I have fun with. 
Okay, thank you so much. This is going to be a kind of back half for all of us because we have studied this topic before in levels, intermediate level. And also for us will be a kind of review. So we can see the difference between the relative pronouns of subject and also relative pronouns of subject. Remember the difference about the subject and the object is simple. We, when we talk about subjects, we talk about the main person, animal or things in the sentence. The main, the main person in a sentence is the subject. And also the object is different. As the word says, the object is something that is mentioned in the sentence, but it's not the subject. For example, if I say in English, I have a beautiful car. In that case, car is the object of the sentence. I know that I am the subject, but it, I will focus in the sentence about the car. So that's why we can differentiate between the subject and also the object. As she said before, when we talk about relative pronouns of subjects, we have the sentence. Instead of saying they, I use who or that. Instead of saying they, who or that. For example, I, hey, I like guys that they aren't too serious. Or also I can say, I like guys who or that aren't too serious. So I replace the subject, they, by who or that. And at the same time, the sentence doesn't change the meaning. It's an extra. So in that case, the relative pronouns of subject became the relative pronouns of subject. And look at the next sentence. I prefer someone I can talk to him easily. Or I could say I preferred someone who or that I can talk to easily. So uh, I replace someone by who or that. And also the goal about the relative pronouns is to replace the name. That's what we can say in English. We replace this, the name, the subject, the person by who or that. So also we can use in that case. And we will focus about three in this class, the who, that, and also those. And let's warm up in this activity, working in this one. Pair work, match the information in column A and V, then rewrite each pair to form one sentence and use a relative pronouns if necessary. So we have the first statement. Look at this one. Okay, I don't want to, I don't want to have a partner. I don't want to have a partner. So which one do you think match exactly with the relative pronouns? In that case, that would be letter D. I don't want to have a partner. I have nothing in common with this person. So that's why you can match the one part with the other one and also both have the same context or level. So I will give you a couple of minutes to think about these ex statements and you will match them according to the context. If you have questions or doubt related to vocabulary, you have freedom to ask questions and I will be more than glad to help you. So let's work with that one and let's try to match. After that, we will socialize in the class the possible answers. Okay, let's work in the exercise A. Let's do it. And also, as we always ask, by the way, because this is a kind of review, I just want to ask you, do you have a question or doubt about the relative pronouns? Uh, no questions or no doubts? Questions or doubts? No? Yes, teacher. Yeah. In the, in the pay work, uh, do we have to, to change the relative noun? Or we just need to do match with these sentences? Yeah, the only one thing that we had to do is, is match. Is match the, the exercises yeah. from column A to column B. And also you can see the first examples that I don't want to have a partner. I have nothing in common with this person. So, so what you had to do is to match and then rewrite each pair form of one sentence, okay? And if you want to use a relative pronoun, you can use it. It's not a problem. It's suggested that you can do that one.
Are you ready, students? Yes, teacher. Amazing. Okay, thank you. Someone else is ready too. Old? Not teacher. Okay. Ready? I I start. Okay. Give me one minute. Okay. Well, okay. well, they say what one more minute. Okay, so let's wait a little bit. Meanwhile, I will take a short time to check the attendance list. So because it's important to make sure that all of you are right here. And we always in every single class we try to check the attendance list. So one second, guys. Mr. Have a question. Uh, tell me, how can I help you? Este, contigo no pasaremos lista o algo por el estilo. Yes, right. I said that we're going to pass the attendance list. So, you listen to her name and you say present. Okay. One second, I need to update that one here. Let's see. Okay, guys, we're going to uh, check the attendance list. You listen to your name and you say present. Let's go with the first one. Brigitte Lisette Erazo de Calzada. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Carmen Guadalupe. Oh, she's absent. Uh, Cesar Alexander Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edith Araceli Guzman. Present teacher. Eduardo Alexander Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Elvis Aníbal Rauda. Present teacher. Thanks. Emerson Alexander Mejia. Present. Thanks. Eneida Jamilet Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jaime Roberto Aldana. Present. Thanks. Javier Ernesto Lucero. Javier. Present. Oh, you're there. Uh, Karen Suleima Susena. Present. Thanks. Laura Michelle Arce. Laura. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Maria Catalina Correa. Maria. Uh, Marvin Fernando Marcel. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Morena Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Uh, okay. Oscar Alberto Rodriguez. Present teacher. Um, Raquel Arely Santos. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Santiago Antonio Chavez. Present teacher. Uh, Sara Nalda Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. All the best. Okay, so I think it's a right time to now socialize all the information that you have developed right here in the class today. So let's see what, what possible answers we can get from that one. So in that case, number one, it says that I don't want to have a partner. So I have nothing in common with this person. Number two, I like to meet people. What possible These choice? People have These people have a good sense of humor. Mm, it says, I like to meet people. Mm, in this case, it says this person. We're talking about singular. This person are warm and sensitive. Okay, that would make sense to me because we're talking about plural. So let's see what happened. 
um, these people are warmth and sensitive. So I, I like to meet people and these people are warm and sensitive. Let's see if we can actually match this as possible sentence. Uh, number three, I preferred a roommate. Can you read it? These people are organized and intelligent. Oh, um, but it says this, I prefer a roommate this singular. Person, this, this person is quite adventurous. Yeah, imagine that you have a roommate, very noisy, yeah. that you are concentrated yeah. reading, and in in your in in this person, the roommate is making noise, listening to music, and dancing. That will be a real problem, especially if you're living with this person. Okay, so we can actually match this, this possible statement here. All right, so let's see with with the next one. Um, I will use a different color. My bow green will be good. I don't like to be with people. Leader F, I, I don't. I don't feel, feel comfortable. Comforted around these people. Mm. I think we need to change. Look for another option. Oh, look at this one. I okay. have nothing in common with this. No, it, it is wrong. Okay. Um, it says number four. I, I don't. I don't like to be with people. That I uh, I have nothing in common with this person. Letter B, teacher. Uh, this person has good leadership and qualities, but it's positive. Mm hmm. Letter, I don't like to be Letter F. I don't feel comfortable. 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 People. Yeah, so maybe we can also use that one because I was looking for a better answer, being honest with you guys, but the most, the closest also could be this one. But I think we need a, a better word to connect this one. I don't I don't like to be with people that I don't feel comfortable around these people. You say the yes. word comfortable. Repeat it. Comfortable. 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 It's like O R, it's silent word. So it's not pronounced like comfortable. 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 Yes. Comfortable. Yeah, that's comfortable. That's right. Okay, so number five, I want to discuss my problems with friends. I want to discuss my problem with friends. These people are very yeah, well, 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 insensitive. Tiene que ser, teacher. Tiene que ser. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but, but by the way, so we can also, I mean, we can also combine uh, two or three statements because are very close because we're talking about qualities. So no matter if we use it in one sentence, also can be used in another one because the context allowed us to do it or mm -hmm. allowed us to use it. Mm -hmm. So I want to discuss my problems with friends um, that have a good sense of humor, that these people are warm and sensitive. So you can use them mm -hmm. because have a real context. Okay. And number six, I rather have a boss Mm -hmm. This what, person what? has good leadership qualities. Ah, uh, okay. That's, that makes sense to me. So in that case, that will be letter B. I, I'd rather to have a boss, this person, uh, or who has good leadership qualities, especially because a boss should be a leader, especially in a job, right? And the last one in this course, I prefer to have teachers... Yes. These people, people are organized and intelligent. Ah, uh, come on, teacher. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> okay, so you know, you know how it is, right? <laughs> okay, so that's okay. What about teachers? Well, sadly, that isn't singular because I prefer to have teachers that are quiet and consider considerate, but I don't know about it. Teachers are not quiet. Teachers always communicate actively. So, but you, you can also use different uh, ideas, especially to match these statements. Well, you know, this time has gone so fast, but I will show you the next exercise because we have right two minutes before I come 
concluding a class. It says complete the sentences using the appropriate relative pronouns. We have who, which, and that. And we will be fast to complete this exercise. So let me share with you the real presentation so we can also share that. Let's see. For homework. <laughs> yeah, so what, what time is it? Well, we still have a couple of minutes. Okay, number one. I uh, Do you know the girl? Who? 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 Okay, yeah. who? I dance with? Yeah, so I can use who. That makes sense to me. Okay, number two. Do you know the girl? Who? Who? Well, actually, it's the same the same statement, so don't worry. Also, I can use that too. Why why not using that? So I can use that too. Do you know the girl okay. that I dance with me? That dance with me? So you can use that part. And the first one, the apples are lying on the table. The table are bad. Which? Which? Uh-huh. Which the apples are which yes. are lying on the table. Which or that? Yeah. Which are that? So I, we can use actually which, of course. And if we are talking about another possibility, which we can use? That. That's correct. That, that, that. we bought in the shop are bad. Oh, next one. It could be those, those, yeah. the apple toast. No. The apples no. that we bought, in that case, we're talking about no. the, the relatives. In this case, no. relative is that. I'm no sorry. matter if this is singular no. or plural, so we can use that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we'll stay at the hotel. Who? Who? Who is him? Mm, no, because who is for people? Which or that? that. Oh, okay. that. Which, 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 which? Yeah, that's right. So also we can use that too. Mm -hmm. That yes, that. yeah, that's right. So we will stay at a hotel that my friend has it's recommended. Us. Next one that is a museum, which that. to not be, which I like it very much. And not the to other say one, the, the same, word. yeah, but yeah. So we also can I, use that too. The yeah. museum that lies in the heart of the town. Next one, this is the man. Ooh. Yeah, Barbara visited in Scotland. And also the this is the man that, that lives that, that lives that, that lives that, in Scotland. That, that. Yeah, that's right. This is a beautiful place, a beautiful country. Okay, guys, congratulations for the word done. And also, you know, the time has gone so fast because it's the first class, but we will we will be developing some other contents, especially for further classes. And thank you for practicing actively here in the class today. So I hope to see you tomorrow and have a beautiful night to all of you. But before that we leave, I don't know if you have any questions or doubts or any comments before we conclude the class. Thank see you. you. See you tomorrow. See you, see you. Have you. a beautiful Bye. night to all of you guys. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good you night. Bye. You too.